Hi guys, welcome back to the OVC YouTube channel. Today, Tadita is going to be telling us about her au pair USA experience. Hi Tadita, how are you doing? I'm good, hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Can you tell us why you chose OVC to do your au pair program? So I actually got referred to OVC through my stepsister. Uh, she's also an au pair and she also okay. went through the program. And she said that it was great. They helped her step by step. There was no issues. and she recommended that if I want to do that, I would do that. Okay, cool. Where are you based in America now? And how many host children are you looking after? Uh, right now, I'm based in a small community in Helen. Uh, it's in the state of New York. It's about a 25 minute drive from New York City. Okay. Um, I'm taking care of an eight year old little girl and a 12 year old boy. Okay, so that's nice. So what do you do uh, during your days off and free time when you're not with the kids? Well, before all of this, you know, coronavirus thing happened, um, I would go out with my friends, we'd go to the movies, we'd go to parks. Um, okay. And then right now, uh, I would meet friends in the park, you know, social distancing, wearing masks, We'd um, get something to drink and then we just hang out in the park, you know, have picnics, um, kind of things like that. Okay. So what does your day-to-day -day routine look like within the host family? Like when are you working and with the kids? So I wake up at 7 a.m. every morning and then I start at 8, um, getting the kids up ready for school. They are fully virtual right now. Um, so I need to make sure that their computers are set up and that they're okay. ready for school. Um, my oldest is very independent, so he does most of the things by himself. And then I have to sit with my eight-year-old and then I have to do her schoolwork with her and make sure okay. she hands in everything on time. Um, that's kind of what I do during the day. And then I finish work around seven. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I kind of just come up to my room and relax. Relax a bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how do you feel with the support given on program with all pair care, our partners in the states, with your area director that's there and you have your health insurance and things like that? It's been really good. Um, my area director is really helpful. So whenever I have a problem, I just email her and she responds back within like 10 minutes usually. Oh, so wow. I've never had to wait extremely long for a response if I'm in a situation. Um, insurance is good. I had a, a nasal surgery last year and it was covered because it was an emergency. So okay. I have no problem with my insurance. It's been really good. Um, so yeah, I have no complaints there. Okay, good, good. So how long have you been on your program now? And did, because you keep saying last year, did you extend with the same family or you're still within your first year? No, so I've actually almost been here two years. Um, my okay. Parents in April 2019 um, this is my second family I was in Virginia my first year and okay. then in May of this year I came to uh, New York uh, extending with my second family okay so you extended with another family to experience a different part of the states or did you extend because you went into rematch and just extend with the new family I went into rematch um, okay so yeah but i think also originally i wanted to stay in virginia going into rematch but then i realized you know i've never seen a lot of new york city so mm -hmm. i think it's nice to extend with a family in another state okay okay and that that ended up well so how was the rematching process are you okay if we talk about that briefly yes of course yes. okay because it is an, an experience that some of us will sadly have to go through um, so how was the whole process for you and how long did it take you to match with your new host family? Um, I think I matched with them after a week okay. um, going through the um, rematch process. Uh, it was good. We had the, um, ex wait, the exit interview, I think, if you're yes. in the rematch process. Yeah. Um, that was good. You know, my previous host mom and I and the area director, we talked about everything. Um, and then I think a day after my profile went up again, I got two interviews. Um, my current host family was my second interview. Okay. And after interviewing with them, I was like, you know, I really like them. After that, I had two other interviews and then I mm -hmm. decided to 
this this is the family that I want to be with for the next year. Okay. And what were some important questions that when interviewing with your new host family second time round that you insisted on asking to make sure that this would be a perfect match for you and you wouldn't have to go redo the rematching process? Definitely the hours that you're working and okay. how good they are at communicating with you because I've heard about some um, host families that don't tell you your schedule and you kind of just have to like wing it and you have to like guess your times and things like that and me I prefer having a schedule a set mm -hmm. schedule so one of the questions I asked them was you know I'd like do you guys have like a set schedule what's my schedule gonna look like you know and they were able to lay it out for me uh, which was really nice and then also about um, how comfortable they are with me um, you know going out okay. um, during all of this that's been going on um, so yeah okay so what advice would you give to other young ladies that are looking to sign up for the all pair program do it like <laughs> If you're like thinking about it, if it's like, you know, you want to go, but you also don't know if you want to do it, like do it. It's been absolutely life changing for me. Mm -hmm. And if you are someone that wants to explore and you want to get out of your comfort zone and you want to experience new things. This is definitely it. You know, working with kids can sometimes be hard, but it is so rewarding to be able to like travel and see all of these amazing places and then you can go back and you can say listen I've been to all these places I've seen all these amazing things I've met all these amazing people so yes. good I would totally recommend it <laughs> nice thank you so what are some of the places that you've been able to travel to um, and experience since being in the states uh, I've been to Canada oh wow um, yeah um, and then I've been to Nashville and Texas, Austin, Atlanta, uh, Florida. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's been fun being able to travel all, to all those places. Yes, because they're all so different. When you go there, they're similar in a way, but still completely different, you know? <laughs> Do you have any other fun memories or anything that you feel that should be included in this little interview that you want to share with other people that might be signing up soon? So I don't know about like um, other um, South Africans, but for me, I've never seen snow. Um, yes. And here in America, it snows. Um, so last year when I was, no, it was at the beginning of this year when I was in Virginia, it snowed um in january and it was the best experience for me like i was i started crying because i've oh, never wow. seen snow and i was just like oh my god this is what snow looks like this is what it feels like i'm like that is amazing i think that's one of the best memories that i have of being here seeing snow for the first time oh that's amazing i i opened in, in texas for two years so no snow for me but that was oh, definitely okay. something i wanted to experience but so thank you so much for sharing that. Um, and thank you for taking time out of your morning to speak to me about your au pair program. Yes, thank you so much for asking me to do this. <laughs> Everyone else that's watching, please remember to like the video and subscribe below. Thank you, bye.